Hey, Willoughby Farms in the surrounding subdivisions. Uh, this is Richard Friedkin, 40-year real estate expert with eXp Realty, and I'm coming to you again with my February edition of the Real Estate Market Report for your six subdivisions. And uh, before I get started into the statistics, you know, I hope you braved that little spot that we had in January of those really cold temperatures and the snow, but overall, it's been a really mild winter. So mild, as a matter of fact, that Punxsutawney Phil has predicted an early spring. Now, what's interested, interesting is that over the 130 some years that he's been predicting winters and springs and all that, um, there's only been 21 times that he's predicted an early spring. Unfortunately, he's only right 30% of the time. So not something that you could really rely on. But what that means though, is that the real estate market is heating up because of all this mild weather. And part of the reason that it's doing that is because of interest rates. And, you know, if you get my postcard every month uh, that has all these statistics on it, on the backside, you have my mortgage monitor. And you can see last month, uh, December 28th, mortgage rates, 30-year fixed rates were 6.61%. I mean, look at where they were uh, back in October. They were, you know, 8%. And now they've really dropped down to 6.6593 uh, for a 15 year. And they did tick up just a little bit this last period of February 1st. But, you know, these rates are pushing buyers back into the market like crazy. I, I've actually got buyers that I was working with a year ago that pulled out of the market when rates started going crazy. And they're calling me now and they want to see homes. So this market is getting really, really hot. And it's a really good time to sell because this is pushing prices up. Um, but let me get to my uh, other side of the postcard, uh, which you probably used to seeing, and it has all these numbers that shows you uh, original list price, if there were any price changes, what are ultimately sold for, how many days it was on the market, and what the current status is. So really important information. But let me get to the statistics that we're used to seeing, which is right here. And this covers the December and January activity, which is also mirrored in the postcard that you get. But currently we have two homes that are active on the market. One of them is in the private network and it doesn't start allowing showings till March 1st. So uh, whether you wanna consider that in the currently active or not, it's coin flip. Uh, currently pending and under contract, there are three, which is up from last month. Uh, same number of properties uh, sold and closed. So there hasn't been any really recent closings. They've just been, uh, you know, getting the processing done and things like that. So that pretty much stayed the same. No canceled listings this time around. The average closed price, pretty much about the same as it was the previous, uh, you know, two month activity, 514.9 versus 513.3. Uh, but the average list price has gone up and partly because there's really not a lot of homes currently on the market. So that's up to 521.780. Average days to contract was 45, pretty close to the month before. And average days on the market for just the one home that's currently showings uh, is 20. So we are seeing uh, some good activity here that is starting to uh, really show itself that the market is heating up. And I think you'll see on the March 1st video and postcards, you'll see some dramatic changes there, at least we hope. If you compare this to just an Algonquin in general, um, you know, we have 34 active listings, 33 are under contract, uh, 22 sold and closed, and the average close price was 442. So that's $70,000 less than what we're getting in your uh, little pocket there of subdivisions. Um, the average list price, 442 versus our 521. 44 days on the market, pretty close to what we're seeing in your subdivisions. Uh, average days on the market, 80. So there are yeah, a lot of homes sitting on the market in Algonquin that's taking a little bit longer to sell. So um, hope you enjoyed this report for February 1st. And if you have any questions at all about real estate, give me a call, 847-922-8423. If you want a market analysis of what your home is worth in today's market right here and now with this heated up uh, situation that we have going on, just go to rjhomevalue.com. And you can put in your address and we'll get you a report right out to you. I live right down the street on Sleepy Hollow, so I can just jog over there and drop it on your porch. Uh, again, any questions, 847-922-8423, whether you're looking to buy or sell. Hope you make it a great February. And 
Put in the comments who you think is going to win the Super Bowl, Chiefs or Steelers. Make it a great February. Enjoy your Super Bowl weekend, and I will see you next month around March 1st. Take care.